Hello everyone and welcome to NLS Explained. My name is Andrew and today I would like to talk about a very specific scenario that you may encounter if you're using Quill uh, to stake ICP in the NLS. Quill is a toolkit that you can find on any computer's uh, documentation. It's a toolkit that allows you to create transactions, create identities, principal IDs and stake neurons and it allows you to manage your neurons completely using Quill and also do to stake ICP using AirGet computers. So if you want the absolute maximum security, using Quill is something that you should look into. However, if you use Quill and you create the identity, it's separate from what you have in the NNS tab, because in the NNS tab, you log in using internet identity. Now what if you have neurons that you created using Quill and you have ICP staked uh, in the NNS, that was staked using Quill, and you want to do other things in the NNS app, like increasing the soft delay or spawning maturity and so on uh, with the neurons that you have staked uh, using Quill. So today I will show you how you can use the ledger device to access these neurons. First of all, here I have my ledger device. I'll enter the very secure password. One thing is that you have to know the seed phrase of the identity that you created using Quill, otherwise this will not work. But you save the seed phrase in any case. So, um, all right, let me, uh, let me exit the ICP app, go to control center, settings, and in the security settings, you want to Reset the device. All right, reset device. Very secure password. Okay, so here we have the welcome message. <clears throat> In case you want a more detailed video on how to set up the ledger device and how to take neurons uh, using the ledger device without any quill, then we have a video on the NNS explain series that explains just that. Uh, but in this one, I will just go through this more quickly. Set up as a new device. That's what we did in the previous episode. But now we want to restore using a seed phrase. I have my seed phrase written down here, which by the way, you should not do if it's a real world scenario. Do not write your seed phrase in notes on a computer. Uh, restore from recovery phrase, yes. I'll choose the same secure pin code. Great, so I'll enter your recovery phrase. And this will take a while, but select the number of words. I set it to 12, so it goes a bit quicker for the video. So now we should have a ledger device that is set up with the same identity that you that I have previously created in Quill. How to create this identity using Quill is outside of the scope of this video. Your device ready. And go to the dashboard. And I will use the Ledger Lab application to see my ledger device and install the ICP app. All right, so now we have the internal computer app on the Ledger device. And we can go back to the NNS. And let me close this, close the Ledger Live application. So this is the, this is the NNS DAP account that we've been working with in previous tutorials. You see, this was the original ICP that I staked, and this is the one that we created in the last episode using the Ledger device. And now, what you want to do is you go to tokens, internet computer, and you want to add a new account. There will be a new hardware wallet account. So, new account. I'll, for simplicity, I'll just call this uh, Qu Quill Ledger. Continue. 
and connect hardware wallet. Selecting the Nano X that we just added and then I can verify that this is the principal ID that I created with Quill and this is the account ident identifier that goes with it. So once you create it, you need to approve it on the device. All right, here you now you see the two different hot wallet correctly named, so you know which one is which. And now we can open up the one that we just created. You see, I have already some ICP as I was taking before. And coming here, you want to click show neurons. It's also something that you have to approve on the device. Transaction type list of own neurons, approve. And once you approved it, you can add the NNS dev as a hotkey. And this, will, this just means that the NNS dev can now do a few things with your neurons, which is you can start up following, you can vote manually if you want. And if you have this ledger device connected to your computer, then you can also increase dissolve delay or stop and start dissolving, spawn maturity and, and everything else. And of course, all of those transactions will need to be signed by the ledger. Add hotkey. And approve. Fantastic. And now we can go back. And they're on staking. Great. So I'll show you quickly how what you can do with this new neuron uh, using the NNS tab. But before I do, I want to reiterate the fact that all of these three neurons are controlled by three different identities. So if I lose the ledger device that I'm holding in my hand and I didn't write down the, the seed phrase, so I lose complete access to it, then I will not be able to do anything with this neuron except vote and, and change following. And the same is true for, for the one on the bottom, except I have the other ledger device with, the other, with a different seed phrase that controls this one. And the third neuron is the, the one that we created in the first staking episode is uh, controlled by the internet identity um, that we created together. So while these neurons appear in the same, in the same table, these are very controlled by different entities. Usually, I would suggest that you set up your neurons where all or most of them are controlled by the same, either the same ledger device, so, you, uh, so it's simpler to manage, or just your internet identity. And now, so you see, we don't have dissolve delay on this new neuron. I left this not set on purpose. So we can set it here and I can show you that, that you in fact have control over the neurons that were created using Quill. So you go, I set up just six months for the test. And you confirm using Ledger. And voila. And I see that the dissolve delay has been updated. And following works the same way as we discussed before and spawning neurons also requires you to sign the transaction with the ledger device. And this is what I wanted to talk about in today's episode. Just an explanation that if you know a seed phrase of an identity that holds neurons, you can simply get a ledger device and connect it to the NNS tab. And then you can reset the, the ledger device using the seed phrase that you, that you know. And it, you can display all your neurons in the NNS tab and you can do whatever you want with them the same way that you can with the ones that are created by internet identity or, or ledger device using the NNS tab. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.